Well, good morning, everybody, from the dang basement. I don't think I've got enough lights on. Hang on a second. Well, we'll see if this helps. Probably not much help. Anyway, greetings from the dank basement. I am Paul Shelbetter, your wicked's Uncle Sphincter, uh, Squinty. And uh, today we are taking a look at this one from Rene Rosinski of Frankfurt, Germany. This is called Nordwind. Now, if you've read the description, you know that this is a very old style snuff made from tobacco that has already been frozen by the first frost, green tobacco. This is a green snuff. Now they add a little bit of camphor to this and a little bit of bay leaf. That's interesting. I've never had bay leaf as a snuff component before. I bet I just wrecked this tear strip. I always do that with these. Renee, you got to fix your packaging machine, buddy. I'm going to end up just torturing this thing. Let's see if I can find a skizriz. Mm. And of course, the scissors I thought were here are not. I got pipes, I got tobacco, I've got... You know I'm going to chew this thing open, right? I'm not even kidding. I might have to chew this open. Well, that worked. Rene, I cannot get your packages open. Hang on a minute. There we go. I got it open. Wow. Yeah, you can smell the bay leaf. I'm not really smelling the camphor. But this is a green tobacco. Instead of being matured or fire cured or something, it's just what happens to tobacco leaves when they have been frozen. Let's give this a try. Grind is medium to fine. Moisture is good, not excessive. Let's give this a shot. I'm eager. Now this also has menthol in it. I'm not a huge menthol fan, but we'll try this. Nordwind, North Wind. It's interesting. Oh, the menthol isn't ex excessive by any means. It's not bad. It's interesting. That mix of camphor and bay leaf against the green tobacco is quite nice, actually. Now, uh, Rosinski calls this one the frosty snuff. Pretty frosty. Nice cooling sensation in the nose. Again, the menthol is not uh, excessive. The tobacco is, with the bay leaf and the camphor, is kind of funky. This is not one of my favorite Rosinskis. This is not going to make its way into my top five. But it is good and it's interesting. Nicotine, just from that little tiny bump, is right there. On my subjective scale, and this is based on my tolerance and not on any sort of scientific test, but subjectively on a scale of 1 to 10 where 1 is nothing, and 10 is potentially way too much. Just from that little bump, I'm gonna rate this a seven. It's, the nicotine's good. Let me take another pinch of this. Ein Kositz. It's very interesting. Well, on the squinty scale, where one is disgusting and five is delicious, I'm rating this one at a four to a 4.5. I 
again this one is not going to be in my top three or five rosinski snuffs uh you know there are snuffs i like better and as far as cooling in the nose i actually prefer oh now i'm gonna the brusselaire which uses mint instead of menthol but for a cooling pleasant snuff not too much menthol interesting interesting aroma profile you might like this so we'll give it a four on the squinty scale this is nordwind nordwind from renee rosinski i got this one as a gift from my friend carlo who is still living under the witness protection program somewhere in the pacific northwest of the united states from the dank basement happy that easter's coming i'm going to go on an egg hunt or not but i'll probably eat some like cadbury cream eggs or something mm, easter candy delicious from the dank basement paul Schalbetter. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the like button. And most of all, thank you for your comments. Remember, your participation is my compensation. Once again, 4.5 out of 5 on the squinty scale of quality, 7 out of 10 on the nicotine scale. Not too much menthol. Interesting, if not terribly pleasing, aroma profile. Rosinski's Nordvind. Thanks for watching.